It's Wednesday. It's time for some DeFi charts. I'm going to focus on the USD charts. Talk about Bitcoin dominance to start it off. If you want to check out how we are trading this at Techemy Capital, you can pop on over to Enzyme.Finance. We will have a DeFi basket slash actively managed stuff something coming soon. Look for that. In the meantime, you can check out the ETH BTC fund and you can see how we trade it and it's non custodial and blah, blah, blah. I'm the clicker of the buttons here. So if you're curious as to what's going on and where the party's happening, you can check out enzyme.finance. All right. So Bitcoin dominance, a weather vane, not really tradable, not really actionable signals, still more altcoin season than not because we are under the 200 day moving average for dominance. In general, the too long didn't watch of this entire video is going to be expect two X's everywhere. You know, if I was, if I was buying a basket today, I would expect a two X on everything, sell half on a double, hold the rest, play that game. Because if the consolidations can hold on all this stuff, you probably will get higher highs. Here's the DeFi perp index on FTX. And this is basically every single chart. It's retesting some sort of support level. In this case, the 25 day EMA because it's the 50 on the 12 hour. You know, it doesn't, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It's some, some low time frame support, but it's definitely bottomy. There's an Adam and Eve on this specific chart. You'll see inverted head and shoulders everywhere. You'll see all sorts of things that suggest bullish reversal, bullish continuation. If we look at the Uniswap perp, same thing. This is the top 100 coins on Uniswap. This looks more inverted head and shoulders y, but it's, it's nasty, as the kids say. Nice little Adam and Eve here on RSI. Um, even if you're not trading this directly, you know, how I'm viewing this is okay. The sentiment of the market is very clearly by the dip. The dip was bought. We want higher highs. You know, demand stepped in when the sell off happened. And the expectation is definitely a revisit of all time highs. Sort of see what happens there. This could morph into some sort of cup and handle, which is present on a bunch of charts as well. Also spells bullish continuation. If we look at Link, Link is the most boring and obvious 2x to September um, that you can pick. So, you know, I'm buying anything that gets remotely close to the 200 day moving average. I'm just going to keep adding that. And it's the trend is your friend. You know, you can't. Can't bet against it when uh, this is what it looks like. Now, the BTC pair isn't as bullish. I'm not going to show that because this is a USD day. And you know what? If I talk about BTC pairs, people get mad at me in the comments. Nobody cares about US BTC pairs, man. And if I talk about UT USD pairs, people in the comments are like, nobody cares about the USD pairs, man. <laughs> so I can't win. Uh, but either way, this looks like a good 2x by September. Pitchfork very clearly suggests continued bullish action. Ave, does Ave hit a thousand? You know, that's, that's the target in everybody's mind for sure. In my opinion. Now I don't hold any of this stuff just to be completely transparent. So I'm not like rooting for bags here, but, uh, that's the target people are looking for at this point. If we get higher highs on Ave, I'd certainly expect thousand. Um, you'll see me have added, I've added, uh, the FIV extensions on a lot of these charts basically taking the high to the pullback low and the 1618 and the measured move somewhere between 850, 980, just make it a thousand. So 850 to a thousand on Ave trend looks fine. Everything's intact. Now, if any of these charts go below the cloud on some decent time frame, four hour, 12 hour daily. So if Ave breaks 400, I'd say cut it. You know, if I was trading it, if it breaks 300, I definitely cut it. I would add at any catastrophic Eiffel Tower target. And this goes for all these charts. So any any previous higher high slash all time high. So anything at 100, you know, that's where I'd want to add. I'd long here, cut at 3, 400. 400 is a bit close, so 350. Cut at 350 by mid March. Having a time component is really nice as well because you can look at the cloud and say, okay, it's, it's below the cloud mid March. I'm cutting it. So again, example trade. Long here, cut it around 350 mid March, rebuy around 100. Otherwise, expect 850 to 1000. And you could use that same blueprint for pretty much every single chart here. Uni's kind of meh. It, uh, it's got this RSI trend that you see a lot and things that are a bit tired. 
Price looks a bit tired as well. Trend overall looks okay, but on the 12 hour cloud, I would ex I would wait if I was trading this for a bullish TK recross above the cloud um, or whatever your preferred trend metric is on the four hour. It's a little too sideways for me, a little too potential diamond toppy, head and shoulders -y. Um Yeah, I just think there are better charts to trade, but you know, 50 bucks. I think everybody's just looking at all the psychological levels, whether it be a 2x, whether it be $100, $500, $1,000, uh, SNX. I didn't add the fibs here, but 50 is the target. Double from here. Looks like it's ready for all time high retest. It popped into the cloud. It Adam and Eved, and market said we're good to go. So if you are conservative on this, then you're waiting for the TK recross. You can see it's currently bearish, but overall, this looks fine for up. Nice 2x. UMA hasn't quite moved yet on the four hour. Um, some sort of, it's like, it's like a combination of Adam and Eve and head and shoulders. It's like Adam and shoulders or something. And, uh, you know, it, it, it tried to Adam here, it tried to Eve here, it turned into some bullish divergence. Um, overall, it looks like it's bottomy. I really like the 50 and the 200 crossing bullish again here with action into the cloud. So 50 might be a bit much for UMA, but you know, why not? 2X, 2X on everything. 2X for everything. Maybe not Wi-Fi. Maybe Wi-Fi. Looks okay, right? It it tried to dump. It didn't. It tried to dump into this volume support. It didn't. It had a bullish divergence here on those lows. It's got a 5200 cross, recross happening. Do I think this is going to 70? I mean, I really hope not. 70K. I really hope not. <laughs> uh... It's just tough. It's a tough ask for me to trade anything that's got a bajillion coins or 10 coins. Uh, there's just too much that can happen there. So if you're, if you're a believer in DeFi and Wi-Fi, then, uh, Godspeed. But for me, it, the 2X is more clear on the other coins, even though the trend looks like it's ready to go again here. Comp, 1000, 800, 850. Um, this is the FIB extension from the high to low. Had some sort of W double bottom thing. Uh, if you're conservative, you're waiting on the four hour cloud to flip bullish, adding at 450, 500, and just letting it do its thing. Uh, looks fine. This is, I mean, this is what you want to see on any retest of support. You want to see everything reset. This is perfect, perfect, perfect example. Even the EMA is almost reset on the four hour. They got super close, didn't cross though. Cloud reset, price went below cloud, cloud's red, TK's red bearish everything's bearish right and then it's saying nope we're gonna go up again so i like 2x from there ren two dollars why not it uh i don't have the measured stuff on here but trend looks okay so long as this 12 hour can recross bearish bear recross bullish it's hard to say on the tk lines here um another adam and shoulders type thing going on here on lower time frames on the four hour so some of these are more bullish than others. Some of these, if they follow the DeFi sector, are probably better buys, even though they don't look as good. You know, it's just if you're just blindly buying some of this stuff because it's bullish with everything else. And um, you know, let's say March is sort of so-so for DeFi. Q2 just is probably going to be bonkers because it's historically been very bullish for alts. So again, if you could just you could just accumulate through March. Let everything go through Q2, any 2x, anything like that. It sounds pretty risk risk averse to me. Um, and for stuff like this, you're just letting it go at any of the lows. You know, if it breaks a dollar, it's gone for me. If I'm in this, if it breaks 95 cents, something like that. Whatever the lows are, if it breaks below the cloud, it is a goner for me. Here's Serum 4 Hour, um, just like Comp Reset. This is in the process of resetting. Cloud is bearish, TK is bearish. So conservative entries are anything above six. I like 10. I like 11. Definitely higher highs. As long as it can maintain itself above the cloud. Just look at the back testing on the four hour. Just money. Looks like link. That's how bullish this thing is. Um, you can see it tested the 50 like 17 times and just kept going up. Tested the cloud a bunch as well on the four hour. So if this can reset, I like a double easy on that. Uh, Algo has some sort of macro inverted head and shoulders that basically reached its 1618 and measured move. If you're still bullish on this, I like two bucks. 
I would watch this pretty closely on the lower time frames be, just because it's had such an insane run in in really quickly. So if this this consolidates in a bullish way, if this gets some sort of high time frame double bottom, then it looks like a better buy to me. Um, especially compared to some of this other stuff. Some of this other stuff looks like it's already tested support and it's ready to go. Uh, versus this probably is going to be okay, but it, I just have less confidence in it. Band, same thing, 12 hour. If it can maintain itself above the cloud, it's got a cup and handle going for it. It's got bullish TK recross above the cloud on a high time frame. Um, all this stuff looks bullish so long as it can hold above the cloud. I like 30, just a 2x. The 1618 and measure move of the cup and handle is probably somewhere up there as well. Anytime you see price action like this, it's typically typically leads to bullish continuation. Dot on the four hour. Again, it reset. Head and shoulders, inverted head and shoulders thing. Bullish take every cross above the cloud. Um, I think the price is disgusting for the total coins in circulation and or total coins about to be in circulation because of vesting and whatever else. So you know, if you're just playing the tech, it's pretty much a buy. Look at the back testing on the four hour. Not a lot of data, but since January, dip, bought, explosion, dip, bought, explosion, dip. Looks to be bought explosion soon. Maybe a hundred. You know, I don't know. This I don't understand dot at all. I don't understand any of this price action. I assume most of it is just people buying everything they can in DeFi and or some pyramid Ponzi scheme buying up DeFi stuff. Honestly, like there's no rhyme or reason for me here. Maybe an ETH competitor. I don't know. ETH layer 2. Pick a narrative. I don't care. That's why I just trade the chart. But uh, it looks good for a continuation. Kava. Pretty clear cup and handle here. It did not violate the 50% retracement, which is the max retracement you want to see for an intact cup and handle. Um, it is several months in duration, which for some people... They will say this is not a cup and handle because it's too long. You know, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> uh, looks good to me. Um, 2x is 8.9. And what do you know? That's the 1618 measure move. So that lines up pretty nicely. Sushi like Uni. I think all of the uh, exchange tokens look a little tired. On trend, this looks fine on the 8 hour. I just picked some random time frame. Um, bullish TK recross above the cloud. It made new highs. RSI is kind of just... Not incredibly bullish, which is fine. Um, there's no like bearish divergences or anything up here, but it doesn't look as strong as some of the other stuff. It certainly has the bullish wind behind it. So maybe if Uni releases version three and Sushi re releases whatever version they're on, you know, this goes bonkers to 50, 25, you know, whatever. I don't know. Uh, but trend looks fine. So if you're in it for the long haul, if you're a Sushi maximalist or whatever, uh, trend looks fine. BZRX, 4-hour. I really like that this has its support test. 15 to 200 on the 4-hour are recrossing bullish. I like a dollar. Why not? Uh, you can fib this out if you want to, but pretty much everything looks like a good 2x to me. And here is 1 inch on the 4-hour. Same, same sort of story as BZRX and everything else. It, like all the exchange tokens, got a little tired and retraced you can see it just there were no buyers here part of this was the airdrop as well the additional airdrop but the 15 the 200 either crossed or touched or tapped however you want to view that and it looks like this potentially will have another go at this previous consolidation zone so i don't know if it'll get past six but it does look like it wants up it does look like some sort of messy W thing forming. Um, really, the EMAs I would make me bullish on this. The fact that this is ready to hold its bullish demeanor. So that's all I have for this one. What are you watching on DeFi this week? Let me know in the comments below. And happy trading.